It could be lights out. Let's get you our tail of the tape for this lightweight matchup. Hack for 25, Rafa Garcia 26. Hack for is three inches taller, standing five feet, 10 inches tall, and he has a two inch edge in reach. Back inside the octagon to Joe. And now, five fans, we are set to go with the next fight tonight. Three rounds, this in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. He's a boxer, grappler, standing five feet, seven inches tall. Weighing in officially 156 pounds in 12 professional fights. He is perfect with 12 victories and no defeats. Presentando el hijo invicto desde Mexicali, Baja California, Mexico. Here is the undefeated Rafa Gifted Garcia. Hi. And across the octagon, his opponent fighting out of the red corner. A Muay Thai fighter standing 5 feet 10 inches tall. He too weighed in officially 156 pounds and in 15 professional fights holds a record of 12 victories and 3 defeats. He is the fighting pride of Hamburg, Germany, Nazareth Hackperas. And your referee in charge of the action is Chris Tognoni. I believe the biggest favorite on the card tonight is Nazrat Hakparast in this matchup. Camila Oliveira on hand with us here in Las Vegas. Glad you are too with the prelims on ESPN+. There's the heavy favorite, minus 550 in the gray. Nazrat Hakparast, and on the other side, Rafa Garcia is in the black. Straight away, Garcia pushing forward, trying to close the distance. Smart thing, that's what you want to do. You want to pressure the stand-up guy. If you're looking for the takedown, you're going to put him on his back foot, get him up against the fence, if that's your style of takedown. Clash of styles, Hack Parast, all nine of his finishes by knockout for Garcia. Seven of his eight stoppage wins have come by submission. Yeah, and that's right, he gets the job done with the hands. The only thing I'd like to see is him throw more kicks. Maybe not in this fight because he's going against a submission specialist. But generally in his fights, you see hardly any kicks. Does it all with the hands, but he does a good job anyway. A lot of fun to watch. Nice counter right hand though. Just a little out of range for Garcia, but still. It was a nice attempt. Just about an inch away though. You look at Rafa Garcia and you see how comfortable he is in the stand-up right to this point. And it's yep. because the guy's been fighting for a long time. You know, he's not one of those young guys going into the UFC last minute unprepared. He's 12 and 0. He's fought some tough guys in his career. Yeah. And is ready to be here. Started training at 13 years old with yeah. his dad. Oh, wow. That is a heavy left cross from Hack Paras. Yeah, and among the wins for Garcia. Umberto Bondanai in his last fight, of course, a former UFC fighter. He also has a win over Estevan Payan. But this isn't his best way to win this fight, though. Because Hasparaz is such a fantastic striker, so powerful, and believes in his power. A lot of times, when you get athletes that just believe oh, in the power, they can go out there and find those shots that end tonight. But right now, <laughs> Garcia's right in his face. There it is. This is what Garcia needs to do. First attempt gets defended, he'll go back to it. He landed a knee on the break though, and it definitely got the attention of Hakparas because you could see it in his eyes. When the knee connected, you could see that he felt it. But this is good for Garcia. Nice pressure, shot him for the takedown attempt. So of course that sends a message to Hakparas. Might make him a little hesitant. Garcia weathered the early storm after Hakparas landed a big combination and landed a power shot of his own. We're halfway through round number one. Well, ha Hakparas does a good job of moving his head, staying in motion, not being stationary. And if you're Garcia, you want to see him give another takedown attempt just to make sure that Hakparas doesn't continue to get and gain confidence in a stand-up fight. Oh, oh, my goodness. Another big one. Massive That's overhand good. right. That wobbled Hakparas. He should put it on him right now. The more seconds pass, Hakparas is going to get his faculties back. He's going to blow off the cobwebs. He was definitely wobbled, though. Yep. You saw what Garcia did, though, Mikey. He did. reached out with the left hand like he was going to shoot. Yep. And then threw the overhand right. That was beautiful. Yeah, it's a nice weapon. If you're known 
as a takedown artist type of guy. That's there all day long. Just like in the main event, Bilal Mohammed, that's what he does all the time. He dips down like he's going to go for a takedown, and that overhand right comes over the top. It's crazy. You just saw Hakparas actually try to get a takedown. That same takedown that Piotr Jan was doing last week over and over again, where they step through and almost trip you over your own, put the leg behind and trip you going backwards. But great balance there by Garcia. The major outer reap, as it's called in judo. What's it called? Major outer reap. Or an old Soto Gary. I've actually, I never knew what that move was called. I've, it's happened so many times. I'm like, yo, hey, how are you doing don't that worry, trash? Don't worry, don't worry. You got lots of wrestling stuff that I have no idea about. I'm like, what is that? That was beautiful, Mike. Thank you. I still won't remember. I'll still call that same takedown yeah, that people step behind the leg with. A trip. <laughs> a trip. Trip to him Another body kick. We've seen Gaslam go to the wall on that several times in this first Ooh. round. You know, this is really good for Garcia. I mean, listen, you know, he's not taking him down. He's not carrying out the game plan like he probably expected. But he's certainly hanging with Hagparas. Hagparas coming into this one had the reputation of the harder hitter. Yeah. The, the, the game plan, obviously, on paper was take him down, look for submissions. It hasn't hit the floor. But Garcia is doing well. It's Garcia that's actually landed the cleaner, heavier shots. He's doing a good job. I feel like Hakparas is landing, though, man, like going to the body. And again, the more Garcia allows him to feel comfortable that it's going to be a stand-up fight, the better Hakparas is going to fight. Back and forth, round one, round two coming up. Watch your fingers, okay? Keep them in. Keep them in. Hey. Done proving a point now? Yeah. Done proving a point? Yeah. Okay. Doing really good. You're doing great. Let's be smart. Yeah. Okay? When he throws that left, he's gonna be heavy on his feet. That's when he can get the takedown. Okay? Yeah. Take this water. Take it. Drink it when you want. You're breathing heavy because you were you're trying to throw heavy. Okay? You're trying to match him. You're trying to, it's your ego. Okay? Yeah. Let's relax and be fast. Okay. Be smart. Let's start being tricky. Okay? Mix up your strikes. He thinks he has your timing now, so let's switch it up. And tr let's try to get a takedown. Just one. Okay? If you get... Yeah. Just... <laughs> Coming up next, Red Hot Welterweights lock up in our main event. UK standout Leon Rocky Edwards will face Bilal. Remember the name, Mohammed. Stay with us here on ESPN Plus for the main card at 8 Eastern. Second round underway at lightweight between Nazrat Hakparast and Rafa Garcia. And some big moments for each in the first round. Yeah, and some interesting corner work from Cub Swanson. He said to Rafa, he said, okay, you done proving your point it. now. Loved that it. says to me that they've had conversations this week saying, I'm not scared of this guy. If I gotta stand with him, I'm gonna stand. You know, but the reality is Rafa did try to take him down. And he that's could, what yeah, he, could, he couldn't get it done. Yeah. He's gonna have to string those takedowns together to get the hack for us. You see the left foot, though. Well, Nazra is controlling the range. He's got the footwork correct. Nazra, uh, sorry, Rafa's going to try and get that lead leg on the outside of Nazra. He's constantly losing the foot placement. Exactly, constantly. I don't even know if he's aware of it right now. Akparas was protesting a shot to the back of the head. Look at how the odds have narrowed after opening at minus 550 before the fight started. A lot closer. I tell you what. Oh, man. I mean... Listen, we know what to expect from Hack Brast. He always fights like this. He's always value for money. Always great no, to watch. Illegal. But I'm telling you, welcome to the U.